Hey! What's up, my top five favorite listeners? My name is Kyle Kohler, and this is Kyle's top five favorite podcast. Uh, today, I am going to be talking about uh, my top five fave babes in comedy. Uh, these are the top five kind of current girls who are, are doing some stuff in comedy that I think is hilarious and it makes them even sexier that they're really funny. Um, but they're kind of up and comers, you know, they're not quite, um, at that Tina Fey level, obviously, or the, uh, Amy Poehler level, stuff like that, but they're on their way. They're really funny. And I think they're babes. So these are my top five fave babes in current comedy. Um, I'm going to have an honorable mention list. I'm going to have a recap of kind of women who I've always thought were their sexy and funny. And a lot of their sexiness is in their funniness. So we'll get started. My number five fave babe in comedy is a really, really funny girl who, uh, a funny babe, if you will, who has a lot of things going for her. She has a lot of different, uh, stuff. You will recognize her mostly from, uh, what's that show? Drunk History. She's always on Drunk History. She's just hilarious on it. And that's Natasha Leggero. She is so she has these uh big cheeks dimples that are so cute. She uh is really funny. She has um a couple of stand-up specials out. She's really 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 hilarious. Um and I think that she's kind of one of those really attractive but also self-aware of what it means to be an attractive woman and so she kind of plays into it it's really funny she's really smart her comedy is super smart she's uh really intelligent when it when it comes to her self-awareness and understanding that she is uh, a very attractive woman but she plays into it and uses it as her uh, bit and it's really really great uh my number four is a girl who is on the Kroll show she's on that fx show um mary or uh i think it's called married it's like the broken lizard cruise show and she's on there she's really funny uh and you know her best as marcel the shell uh and that's jenny slate she is so cute and adorable and funny the stuff that she says she is hilarious on Kroll show down right hilarious um I think the world of her and um think that she uh plays into um being kind of ditzy but you kind of can tell she's obviously not she just has a little bit of a character to her she was on Parks and Recs Bob Burgers House of Lies she's really funny man she is a cutie I'd love to hang out with her um she was also on Saturday Night Live for just one year I think I think she was only on there for one year I don't remember I think it ended kind of weird for her but it always does for people in SNL they always end up getting fired that's how you leave SNL very rarely does a Will Ferrell where he says it's not time for me to leave everybody else gets fired and she was one of those but I think she does such a good job I'm um, kind of bouncing back from that now uh, to get into a little bit of an honorable mentions, I'm going to talk about uh, the SNL women who broke onto the scene and really took it over. Uh, people like Tina Fey, uh, you know, Amy Poehler, obviously, Kristen Wiig. Uh, but don't forget Julia Louise Dreyfus, who's one of the funniest women of all time, started on SNL. And that's how she met Larry David. And that's how Seinfeld got started. Um and she's a super babe. Um, the original, Gilda Radner. Oh, what a cutie. Uh, so you got to, you know, pay homage to the originals. Uh, Molly Shannon, Sherry O'Terry. Those were some fave babes in SNL. Uh, and the current SNL cast has a lot of really funny women in it. Uh, I think that A.D. Bryant is hilarious. Uh, Vanessa Bayer, when she does her Miley Cyrus, is so funny. Um, 
Kate McKinnon, she's always really cute and funny on that show. And then uh, Leslie Jones, if you don't know, she's kind of the the real big black woman on there always yelling. She is funny, dude. She's super, super uh, unique and funny. But I think the funniest one and, and the, my fave babe on SNL right now is Cecily Strong. When she does that girl, drunk girl you don't want to talk to at a party bit, oh. Come on, that's hilarious! It's so. It, it, how many girls do you know like that? Every time you go to a party, there's some girl who just ah, uh, brilliant, super funny. Um, but let's get back to the list, shall we? My number three is kind of a combo. Not kind of. It is a combo. It's my broad city bitches. Uh, my two babes from the broad city. Uh, Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson, as I know, I'm just Alana and Abby from Broad City. God, these girls are great. They're so cool. They are girls you want to hang out with. I just want to chill with them. I want to smoke some weed with them. I want to grab a beer with them, hang out, have them come over to my house or go to the, I don't know, go to their place, whatever. They're the best. They're so funny. And that show is so good. And they're such babes. Um, so yeah, Alana and Abby from Broad City, super cuties, love them. My number two, uh, she has a movie coming out. I believe it's called Trainwreck. Uh, Amy Schumer, who kind of bursted on the scene pretty quick, was a stand-up, still is a stand-up, but uh, and is really funny at stand-up. God, she was on the. Um, not too many stars the big comedy central thing for autism she had this great bit about how <laughs> women can't make a sexual joke otherwise they're considered she, she can't make a joke about sex because then she'll be considered a sex comedian but if a guy comes out there and whips his dick out everybody's like wow he's such a thinker <laughs> i thought it was brilliant i thought it was hilarious uh she has always been right on it she's a sexy sexy woman and you know what else uh, she's a, she's not a bigger girl. I think she's in great shape. I think she looks awesome. She's super cute, blonde, uh, you know, a little curvy, but in a great way. And you hear people saying she can't be a leading woman. Well, oh, I disagree. I think she is just adorable. She's funny as hell. And that's the most important thing is that she's so damn funny. Um, and she's so cute. I, I I really like Amy Schumer. Her show on Comedy Central is hilarious. She had, I think it was her second episode ever. She had sex from a woman's point of view, and I was dying. It was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen on TV. Um, yeah, Amy Schumer at number two. Now, my number one is a babe who, my fave babe in comedy right now, I love watching her stand up. I love watching her show. Um, she's great on Nick on the Kroll show, uh, and that is Chelsea Peretti. She is so great. Uh, another woman who's very self-aware. She understands who she is and what she is, and very smart about it. And that is an extremely attractive quality. And I think that what that's what makes a great female comedian is they have to kind of understand who and what they are, and then play off of it. And Chelsea Peretti is perfect at that her stand-up special is on netflix it's called one of the greats uh she blows my mind in that special it's super unique i've never really seen a special like it uh she is fantastic um so yeah number five natasha Leggero. number four jenny slate number three are my broad city babes my number two is amy schumer my number one is chelsea peretti uh, those are my top five fave babes currently up and coming in comedy. Uh, thank you so much to my top five favorite listening listeners for, uh, listening to my podcast. Today's podcast. Let's see who's going to be brought to you by, uh, today's podcast is going to be brought to you by in and out. Uh, in and out is a great burger place. Go get a double, double, uh, animal style, protein style, and uh, let the flavor hit your lips. Uh, have a great week, guys. This is Kyle's Top 5 Favorite Podcast. <laughs>